Do you have an approval process within JotForm and want to collect payments as a part of that process? Well, let me show you how with JotForm Workflow. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you have an approval process within JotForm Workflows and you would like to collect payment, we can do that now. And let me show you how. So I'm gonna go ahead and start from scratch. In the top left-hand corner, we're gonna create a brand new form. Let's start from scratch on the classic form. And over on the left-hand side, let's add some elements. Let's just do full name, email, and we can do a file upload. And let's go ahead and rename this form. And we will do a payment approval. And we can make this the name down here, perfect. So now that we have this one, let's go ahead and I'm gonna click on the JotForm logo in the top left-hand corner, and let's make our payment form now. So again, we're gonna create a brand new form. I'm gonna go ahead and use a template and I'm gonna use this PayPal business payment form. All right, so now that we have both of these forms made, I'm gonna head back up to our main job form and we are going to look at our payment approval. I'm gonna choose more and then we're going to create a workflow. Now we can see here we have pretty much a one step approval process. So as soon as someone completes our payment approval, it's going to come to someone, me in this example, to approve or deny. We have the approval email, denial email, and then of course the end piece. So once they have been approved, I want them to have the ability to purchase something else. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose our payment form. Let's go ahead and choose our PayPal business payment form. And then we can go ahead and choose the email from that first form. And we're gonna put it right over here with our approval. Now with this, we can do this a couple of different ways. We can either split branches from our approval and have it going at the same time. But for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete our end piece. So that way we can just put it right underneath here. So as soon as they get that approval email, they'll then get this form to complete. And now we can add our in step and we can finalize. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and publish and we will open a new tab. We'll give this a test. All right, let's get John in here. And I'm gonna put my personal email so that way we can see what this looks like in our email. And we'll choose a file and we can submit. All right, let's head back over. Now we're going to look in our inbox for this approval. As the main first point approver, I'm also going to get an email, but since we're already in JotForm, I'm just gonna jump over into my inbox. And we see we have John right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and approve this request. And because it was approved, we're going to get that approval email. And we're also going to get another email with a form to fill out that next one. So let's open up my email. All right, so the first one was our approval email. Now this is letting us know that our request has been approved. And let me grab that next email. And here is showing that a form has been assigned to me. So I need to fill out the PayPal business payment form so I can view this form. Fill this out, choose my swag, and I will be good to go. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to collect payment within a job form workflow, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.